You know, it's been a while. It's been a while. So we're going to go back. Maybe Rudy the Owl. I'm not sure. Rudy with a haircut? I'm not sure. So it's been a while. We're going to do a little Shockland challenge. A little Ravnica discussion from a patron, Joey. Also known as Jay Morris Collectibles. And this Dr. J over here is going to say, Rudy, you know, I, I like the Ravnica. I like the stock. He likes the box. So we're going to open these things. We're going to see if he can actually get 10 Shocklands. Spoiler alert, he's probably going to get one. And um, we're going to see how it goes. It's been a while, you know? This is, I know, it feels like it's, you know, it's been like eternity since we had basic products like this, you know? You know, no fancy flashy stuff, just basic booster box stuff. I and mean, Literally, those were our faces. We didn't know what was coming in the future. Ooh, cardstock, so nice. Ooh, feels great. Boom! Pack one, chromatic. Foily Uncommon, excellent. So if I recall, it's been a while. Last time I checked, I'm pretty sure Chromatic Lantern and what? This is the Assassin's Trophy thing. And uh, we have Shocklands that are 10, 15 bucks a piece. And then uh, I think there's a White Mythic in this set that's over $10 or $15. But I think that's really about it. I think all the other rares, everything else in the set is what? Between $1 and $3 or something. There's a ton of rares between $1 and $3. So obviously we're not going to be able to discuss and remember every little penny on that but that's kind of what we're looking for so we're looking for five shocks we're looking for chromatic lantern which we got really early on and uh we're looking for obviously um some decent mythics especially that white mythic I just, like a visiting card uh, divine visiting i can't remember there was i can't remember the name we'll see it hopefully we see it and um yeah so that's what we're looking for assassin's trophy we already got the chromatic lantern Look at some good mythics, and here we go. But other than that, so let's talk about the sealed market price. Um, Ravnica boxes are surprisingly... First of all, if you haven't noticed, the expected value of these boxes have been slowly and quietly... Ooh, Doom Whisper. That used to be expensive. It's probably only a couple other mythic now, though. Um, these The expected value of these boxes have been slowly dripping up, like 50 cents to a dollar a day. Like, it's kind of strange. It's like a slow move. God, these look great. How do they get the card quality so good sometimes and then so bad other times? Like, how do the packs and the cards look so good in this set and the colors and just the vibe, the bright, vibrant colors? And look at these foils. Like, look at the foil I just pulled. Look at this thing. Like, how do they get it so nice and so well done? And then other times it's just like a dumpster fire. Blows my mind, everybody. Flipping blows my mind. And Legion Warboss, that used to be a nice rare. Is that, I don't know if that's still worth anything. I forgot about him. Nice little goblin action. Well, by the way, so far this is a third of the box. We have zero Shockies. So absolutely, God, look how good that looks. Zero Shocklands in the first 12 packs. Well, that's a complete slap in Chuck Norris's 14th nut. But okay, we're going to keep it rolling here, ladies and gents. We got Rudy the Elephant everywhere. Oh my God. Foil Chromatic. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. We got a chromatic and a foil chromatic. Holy smokes, that's awesome. And that's it. Divine Visitation. That's like the most expensive mythic in the set. Holy smokes. Did I complain about the box? And now Peggy's like, all right, you, you, you want to make fun of my box? Let me show you how the world works. Like, what the heck? I loved, you know, I, I bashed. Return to 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 I bashed this Ravnica because of the fact I thought it was cliche that we just keep seeing return to and guild. Yeah, I just really guilds of and we're using the same. I really bashed the name, but Sacred Foundry. There we go. I'm going to put you up there. Shockland number one, ladies and gentlemen. I bashed the name of it just because I just thought it just felt like they're out of ideas, returning to the same thing over and over. But to be completely honest with you all, this was a really good product. It sold great. Guilds and Allegiance are great products, man. Holy smokes. This thing sold phenomenal during its life cycle. The card quality looks amazing. The shock lands, you know, the chromatic lanterns, you know, the decent mythics. Good card quality. I mean, what a good product, man. Oh, and did I mention... This was before they started jacking up all the prices. You know, I was able to sell these for 80 bucks to patrons. And, you know, we didn't have to triple our MSRPs and do all this crazy stuff that we see nowadays. And, you know, it's just, it's like time spirals. This is flipping booster box. Why do they have to double the price on everybody? You know, it's just, yeah, what a, what a time, man. 
God, I, and I'm, I'm literally, that's what I'm saying. Nostalgia and how we look back on this stuff is really going to play a funny role, everybody. I'm telling you all. We're going to look back on these. I mean, look at this. Look how flipping beautiful that looks. We're going we're gonna to look back on these War of the Sparks, these, these Ravnica sets. I'm telling you. These things are going to age so well, man. Like, oh, Lazav, the myth, eh, not a good mythic. And, uh, I mean, these things are just, what a good time to have magic. And I, and I bashed it. I remember bashing the name. I remember bashing it quite a bit because I thought it was silly because of the lack of creativity. But, man, Thousand Year Storm. Boy, we're pumping out the mythics now. But it was just a good product. You know, it was just a flipping good product. You know, it is what it is. I got to just call it how it is, man. By the way, sorry, these are uh, these are the Mythics, and uh, Mythics are over there. We only got one Shockland, terrible Shockland box. Holy smokes, everything else is phenomenal in this box, but flip and give us some Shocks. Bounty Agents and a beautiful common. You know, that, that's the biggest thing. So anyways, moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, expected value of these bad boys are, I think expected value is already, ooh, Knight of Autumn, very good card. I'm pretty sure expected value is already over $100 a box. I could be wrong. And the fact that these boxes are still cheap, just, just like I always say, just give the market time. The market will figure it out. This is a, by the way, you want guilds or allegiance? Yeah, there's no set boxes. There's no collector boxes. You want these products? You got one choice. The booster box. There's only one item, and that's it. And give it time, folks. The market will, ooh, rile. Is it this way? Mythic number five. Well, I appreciate all the mythics for my patron over here, but we're kind of looking for shockies. We're not looking for mythics. So, but yeah, I just that's that's my thing. You know, I'm just like, you know, I, I think the market's really going to realize as the years go forward how important and how big of a deal. I mean, I don't think these are going to be $1,000 a piece, like original Ravnica or anything like that. But these things are definitely going to age a lot better than Return to Ravnica, Gate Crash, and Dragon's Maze. And I think the the price memory and the name is scaring some people, but I don't think people realize. Ooh, finally! Watery Grave! Shockland number two. I was like, dude, are we really going to have a one Shockland box? Please don't let the uh, the meme and the joke become true. Holy smokes. But that, that's what I really think. I really think that um, the market right now is, uh, you know, if you missed out, obviously, you know, the boxes aren't 80, 90 bucks anymore. But still, they're still pretty cheap. Even between 1, 120, 130, these things are still pretty cheap, man. So that is Guilds of Radical, ladies and gentlemen. Let me move my commons over here so my hairy arm doesn't knock everything down. And uh, not bad at all. This was a very... I mean, two Shocklands is kind of crappy. But you know what? If you can get double Chromatic Lantern with a foil and a five Mythic box, you know... No Assassin's Trophy, by the way. That's kind of crappy. I mean, there's really not much else to complain about, you know? So heading over to Rudy the Owl over here. We're going to see what happens. And uh, off we go to the races for box number two. Uh, that was a solid box, man. Not good on the actual um, the fetch or fetch lamp. <laughs> Not good on the shock lamp pools, but man, great actual regular stuff, though. All right, here we go. Into starting off the devil, very nice. So, yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of my thought process. Just th these products are are slow moving. They're, these are going to be a slow drip, and they're really going to catch the market and the world off. That, that's what I think is going to happen. I don't think this is like a War of the Spark situation, because War is just a really special, unique product. You know, is War of the Spark still, what, 130? 120? 140? What's it at now? Or by the time you guys even watch this video, it's probably, the calendar, we're probably not even going to be in March anymore, or I'm sorry, probably not even going to be in February. We're going to be in March by the time this video goes live. So, by the time you guys watch this video, just for the record, I'm filming this in February of 2021. Uh, War of the Spark boxes are currently... Um, about a hundred, oh, oh, sorry, all right, uh, foil uncommon. War of the Spark boxes are currently bouncing around between, like, 110 to 130. And I, and you know, everybody makes fun of me on that. I said, dude, that's still cheap, man. People are going to regret. There's going to be a lot of regrets, ladies and gentlemen. So as we move forward, I think, um, I think the market will self-correct. It always does. You can blame me. You can blame any store. You can blame evil investors. But trust me, give it time. And like I always say, the world will uh, the world rebalances, and when things are mispriced too high or low, the market will correct itself. Breeding pool finally, Shockland number one, ladies and gentlemen, setting up for our Shockland adventure. Finally, that's a good start here. I mean, let's see if we can uh, we can see pumping out some tendies, make some money, make some money, ladies and gentlemen. Absorb and a giant bird, not that great. But that's how uh, that's how markets work, ladies and gentlemen. You know, things kind of uh, things self-correct and they fix themselves as time goes on, and uh, you really don't have to worry much about it. Circle, circle, circle. 
you know, that you don't really have to time the market, as they say. You don't really have to. You just kind of have to pay attention, you know, be pre-patient about it, and let nature take its course. And mesmerizing giant Rudy the Octopus for mythic number one, ladies and gents. And, uh, and I think it kind of, uh, it works itself out. Does that make sense? It kind of, uh, all the anomalies and the inefficient market pricing and things that are too cheap or they're overpriced, you know, let the market figures things out. You just kind of, sometimes you do have to be a little patient. Sometimes it can take the market a little longer than you think. Anyways, uh, but anyways, as far as Ravnica Allegiance goes, ladies and gentlemen, again, the value is in the Shockey Lands. Of course, it has the infamous, oh, well, not the blue-headed Dovin Man for another mythic. The big money's in Shocks, and of course, this is the set, if I recall, with the giant big smothering tees. Showstopper. Wow, we're pumping out mythics now. So smothering big old tees is probably still going to be, I'm going to guess, probably a $20 card. Maybe $25, $30 by the time you see this. Who knows if it keeps going up. Um, Plaza of Harmony. Um, there's probably... Was it Guilds of Ravnica or Allegiance? I think one of these sets also. Didn't it have like a $3, 4 $5 uncommon in the set? I don't remember what it was though. Oh! 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 I just showed you all my O face! Oh! Whoa! That's the first time I walked in by accident and went... Uh, uh, what? Okay. Oh my goodness! Hydroid Crasis, Jellyfish Hydra, High School Rudy Beast, Double Zero Foil Mythic. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Um, that's a hit. Okay. I'm sorry. How how expensive are these boxes again? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, Joey. All right. All right. Dr. J. Moore, you're collectible. Going to the moon here. Now you're just showing off. This is ridiculous. You just slapped a double jellyfish in my face. Okay. Now that now you oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Holy testicle Tuesdays. I mean, this is just Taco Tuesday on a Wednesday. This is nuts. Are you priest of beautiful Miss Lily? Oh my goodness, I am blown away that we just had a double mythic hydroid crisis jellyfish Rudy high school dropout. It, oh god, sorry. Take a moment. Appreciate the wings and the gorgeous hair on Mrs. Seraph of the Scales. Absolutely stunning piece of beauty. Holy crap, what a box opening. Dude, we've had some spicy openings lately. You know, we had a couple duds here and there, but man, we are having some spice, ladies and gents. Wow. This is phenomenal, man. This is really nice. I love it. You know, it, dude, the box openings and the views and the boxes do so much better when we get good stuff, man. Holy smokes. We, don't, we are not pressing F to pay respect to patron losses. We are doing good here. Holy smokes. Let me move some comments. My hairy arm getting dangerously inappropriately close. Holy smokes. Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Hero pressing one and a... Oh, what? Who? Is that art? Is, go, is that a... a Guy, girl, horse, robot, a cyborg. I don't know what the heck I just saw there. The dude was like a robot stomach. I, I don't know what the heck is going on with that. That's shenanigans. All right, here we go. Off to the races again. Uh, where are we at? Are we at one flipping Shockland again? Is this going to be a two Shockland box on both boxes? That's kind of creepy coincidental. Ooh, Spawn of Mayhem. This was a really spicy mythic for a while. Dude, the mythic pools in this are out of control, man. These are not so mythic pools. Wow. Glass of garbage. Very cool. Oh my goodness. What a box, man. Dude, these things are just. You know, I, I you know, people, maybe everyone's right. I miss doing some of these regular box openings. These are a lot of fun. You don't have the 45 variants and all these flashy things. I mean, these things, look at the quality of the product, too. You notice how all the cards are gorgeous and bright colors and just. Um, I just, mass manipulation. Rudy, you're mass manipulating everybody. Mr. Wait, pump and dump? No, wait. Spam? Thank you, ma'am? No, hold on. I don't know which one. Which one are we going with? Yeah, God, look how nice these things look. Jeez, I guess, yeah, I appreciate how nice the Ravnica looks now because we've had so many issues with printing and issues with the Jump Start and Commander Legends. And now, you know, it, it just blows my mind. We go back even a few years and it's like, oh, wow. The card quality was good. There aren't any problems. Hallowed Fountain. There we go. 
So four Shocklands total in the video so far, two and two. Well, it looks like we're wrapping up this video here. Final thoughts, everybody. I'll give it to you all at the end of this video. Uh, overall, what a video, man. Holy smokes. What an amazing roller coaster adventure. I mean, chromatic lantern with a foil chromatic. Flipping jellyfish with a foil mythic jellyfish. I mean, no, no giant smothering teas. That makes me a little depressed, though. That, that can put me in the fetal position. And ending on some horrors. Oh, I thought that we had smothering teas. Not bad, man. Weak on the weak on the shockies, only two and two, but man, army of mythics, foily. Final thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Dr. Joey, thanks for being a very kind patron. Hope you enjoy all the cards, everything in the video, heading your way, sir. Um, it really does put life into perspective, ladies and gentlemen. It really does. It, the perspective difference of seeing card quality and the colors and the vibrant colors, and you know, and I and I bashed, I bashed Guilds and Allegiance. Well, I didn't bash the set. I bashed the name, return to return to return thing. I thought that was kind of annoying, but the product's good, though, man. It's better than Return to Re It's better than RTR and Gatecrash, man. They really, you can tell they were concerned of um, having a repeat of the, that RTR Gatecrash Dragon's Maze era block from 2011. They, you can tell they were concerned, and it feels like they definitely did ratchet it up, and it looks like this is going to continue to age very well, which is very, very surprising. Um, a lot of people were very negative. Of course, you know, printed to oblivion, bashery, selling new stuff, garbage. Uh, but no, I, I think these these guilds and allegiance boxes, as as EV continues to push above 100, I mean, even with EV, at a, even if EV is 110, 120, you know, as the product hits, you know, three, four, five years old, you know, the, the product, the sealed product is going to have to be at least a 2x multiplier of EV, in my opinion. So, I mean, you know, if the EV is sitting at 100, 150, I mean, they have to be two $250 boxes eventually. And um, I think they actually will get there. It's a very good product. Um, I don't think there's millions of boxes sitting out there sealed. I think this is an era people were very negative on sitting in sealed product. And I, and I can, I know for a fact, most patrons even bought most of these boxes from me. They opened them. They had a blast. And uh, I think that's a very bullish indicator long-term. And I do believe the future for collectibles will continue to be bright. And, um, these are definitely, uh, Guild and Allegiance is a product I have a very strong position in for myself. And I'm very, very proud and very confident that I think that's going to continue to do well, um, over the long haul. But just, uh, keep in mind. I don't think there'll be uh, some some you know free tendies and quick money. I actually um, I think you're looking at a good solid a couple years to get this thing to move though. This is I think it's going to be more of like an Amonkhet style um, uh, price movement. I don't think we're looking at a Dominaria or a War of the Spark type uh, accelerated price movement. I think um, boxes like this um, are going to be more of a slower um, surprise movement where people are going to look back and go, wait a minute, how did this become a two dollar box? How did this? I think it's going to catch people off guard. That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, that's about it. That's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Hope you learned something. Uh, final comment, too, I've, before I forget. I always forget to bring it up. Uh, don't forget, Core 2020 uh, was also the same era as um, these particular booster boxes uh, when they were in print. And uh, Core 2020 is an extraordinarily, extraordinary, powerful, um, strong product and is actually growing and outpacing Core 2019. And uh, don't underestimate that. The um, I actually think Core 2020 is also going to be a heavy hitter. It could be the next core 2015 where we have a particular core set uh, outrun the other products. So that's definitely something that people need to keep an eye on over a 6, 12, 18 month period. I think we could see some strange movements and uh, God help if the EV even skyrockets, that'll accelerate it. So have a great day. Hope you all learned something. As always, I appreciate the honor and privilege to entertain. And as always, if you're always having a bad day, anything going on in your life, remember, I know it's kind of weird, but it's important to have bad things happen in life it shows you what you're made of it rewires your brain helps you build character to take on the more important better challenges that are coming in the future so you may you may not make sense what's going on now but eventually it will have a great day be safe enjoy your life